Biograss Sod Farms, the science of great sod. Visit their store in Sandy, Utah, or find them online at biograss.com. Rich Malaguchi here with yet another update into my super double secret biograss experiment. Week four, you'll recall what we did is we got biograss sod and installed it at one location properly and it came in great. Then we had another area that we installed it properly on one side and completely improperly on the other. What I mean by that is we tilled the soil sure, but we let the sod sit out on its pallet for a week in the sun with no rain that week, by the way. And then we laid it down. Of course, we watered it after that like you're supposed to, but this is how it came up. This is week four. I didn't mow for a week just so you can see how well the stuff is coming in. Now we still have some patches because dogs, but you can see that even after this sod sitting out for a week and then installing it, it is coming in really lush. It's coming in really well. I don't suggest you treat your sod this badly, but if you do have a sod project, check out biograss.com because they know, obviously, the science of sod. They also have garden soil and mulch, which we'll talk about in other segments. But if you've got a project where you need some good sod, check out biograss.com. Biograss Sod Farms, the science of great sod. Visit their store in Sandy, Utah, or find them online at biograss.com.